Are people are people sick and tired of the partisan politics? Do you think? Oh, no question about it. Absolutely. I think there's a lot of hope right now. I think we're headed for a better cycle than what we've had for the last eight years with the national politics. I'm hoping, but I think there's a lot of distrust. I distrust a lot of politicians. <coughs> Excuse me, politicians. You know, it's always us against them. The Democrats, the Republicans, the, the liberals, the conservative. Everyone has a. And you know, we're all one nation. People are, are tired of, of arguing, the, ver the, the divisiveness. Uh, they want to see politicians work as one. Keep, keep politics out of politics. What would you want to see, not, not in just in terms of nationally, but in terms of governance, or somebody in a, in a politician, what do you want to see? You know, I want to see people tell the truth, and not manipulate and, uh, you know, be dishonest backhanded or whatever. I don't know how possible that really is politically, but that's what I want as honest politicians. I think if people stop, I think if politicians stop trying to be politicians and be a person that's concerned about people, then it takes it out of that area of politics. Honesty, willingness to put his shoulder, his or her shoulder to the grindstone and work for his constituents and, and be there. If you were going to advise me on how to be the best politician, what would you tell me to do? Listen to what people are saying, put your, your ideas secondary. Because the, people's ideas will, will filter into what you want to do, otherwise you're not going to talk to them. But if you listen without prejudice, without bias, without a point of view, then it's much easier to, to respond if you're in a place of flexibility.